Have you ever imagined witnessing the birth of a new ocean and, at the same time, witnessing an entire continent splitting in two? It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but this extraordinary phenomenon is happening, slowly and almost imperceptibly, right under our feet on the African continent. Today, we will delve into impressive details about how East Africa has been splitting apart, giving rise to enormous tectonic fissures, active volcanoes, and, eventually, a completely new ocean. Although this may seem distant and surreal, the truth is that the geological history of our planet itself is constantly showing signs that the Earth is constantly changing. Who knows? Maybe we are facing a moment as epic as the separation of the first continents millions of years ago. Stay with me until the end of this video because, believe me, what you will discover here is capable of completely changing your view on how the world evolves and on the future of the African continent. To begin to understand this phenomenon, we need to talk about the great forces that move the continents. Tectonic plates. In the case of East Africa, three of them are in constant movement. The African plate, known as Nubian, the African Somali plate, and the Arabian plate. They all converge in a peculiar region called the Afar Triangle, also known as the Afar Depression, located in the Horn of Africa. This place is extremely active from a geological point of view, full of volcanoes, such as the famous Erta Ale, which houses an almost permanent lava lake, and real tears in the Earth's crust. According to scientists, this is where the great continental tear has been forming, while these plates gradually move apart. Measurements indicate that the Arabian and African plates move apart by about 2.5 centimeters per year, and the others can move up to half a centimeter annually. Although this movement may seem small, geologically it is quite significant, because, on a scale of millions of years, these fractions of centimeters make a colossal difference. The Afar Triangle is essentially known as a tectonic rift, which means that the Earth's crust in this region is opening up. This generates a series of fascinating consequences, such as the formation of new lakes and rivers, thanks to the constant volcanic activity that alters the landscape. Imagine a terrain with deep fissures, where magma approaches the surface, forming immense natural trenches and raising areas that were previously plains. With each eruption, with each earthquake, the landscape changes. Meanwhile, water from rain and underground springs finds space to accumulate in lower points, giving rise to lagoons and even large lakes over time. It is a slow but inexorable process. And the most exciting thing is that, in the future, this phenomenon could culminate in the separation of part of East Africa, creating a small continent unique in the world. Scientists estimate that in approximately 5 to 10 million years, this emerging ocean could become a concrete reality, separating nations and redesigning maps. The so-called African Ocean, which does not yet have an official name, should pave the way for landlocked countries, such as Uganda and Zambia, which would have direct access to the sea. More than that, the creation of a new large body of water will drastically influence the local climate, fauna, and flora. New ecosystems are likely to emerge, since previously non-existent coastal areas will be formed. Think of all the biodiversity that could flourish in newly created marine environments, in addition to the formation of islands and peninsulas that until now only exist in theory. When we talk about millions of years, it is easy to think that this time frame is too far away, but we cannot underestimate how much this process shapes the history of the planet. The truth is that the Earth has been in constant motion for billions of years, and if we go back a little in geological time, we will see that the supercontinent Pangaea, in the distant past, fragmented into large blocks, Laurasia to the north, which would give rise to North America, Europe and Asia, and Gondwana to the south, which later divided into South America, Africa, Antarctica, Australia and India. Little by little, these continental masses migrated, driven by convection currents in the Earth's mantle. To give you an idea, the South Atlantic Ocean was born precisely from the separation between Africa and South America around 130 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period. Sometimes, 
it is easy to forget that what we consider permanent, such as continents and oceans, is always evolving. Every mountain, every plain and every sea that we see today is the result of millions of years of internal activity on Earth. One of the episodes that reinforced the hypothesis of a new African ocean was the appearance of an immense crack in 2005, in the Afar region, in the middle of the Ethiopian desert. This crack, which was over 60 kilometers long, caught the attention of the scientific world, as it clearly showed that the continent was breaking apart. Satellite images and field measurements revealed that, in fact, the tectonic plates there are moving continuously. It was an eloquent sign that the process is happening right before our eyes, even if at a pace that, by human standards, seems minuscule. This fracture supports the thesis that, in the long term, we will see pieces of the African continent detaching themselves and forming a new territorial configuration in a kind of geological puzzle that will only be revealed in all its magnitude millions of years from now. The Rift Valley, which stretches for over 6,000 kilometers between the Red Sea and Mozambique, is the stage for a tectonic action equivalent to a slow-motion film. This region provides a striking parallel to what happened when South America separated from Africa in the age of the dinosaurs. New faults appear, volcanoes erupt, releasing gases and lava, huge cliffs rise, while other parts of the land sink, creating depressions that can become deep lakes. The abundance of active volcanoes nearby, such as Erta Ale, is further proof that the African Rift is not just any place on the map. There, the crust is under extreme tension, and at any moment the shifting of the plates could accelerate the transformations even further. All of this foreshadows the arrival of a new ocean, creating marine landscapes where today we see only dry land and scorching deserts. It may seem strange to imagine that, one day, areas that we know as savannas and arid deserts will be replaced by coasts teeming with marine life, possibly with coves, beaches, and natural harbors. For the local populations, this geological process of epic proportions has diverse consequences. On the one hand, the prospect of access to sea routes could drastically change the economies of countries that were previously isolated from the sea. On the other hand, volcanic and seismic activity could pose challenges in terms of infrastructure and agriculture. Every tremor and eruption, however small, requires adaptation not to mention issues related to ecology. New habitats could favor previously unseen species, while others, typical of dry regions, could be under severe pressure or even be expelled from their original habitats. In this scenario, experts are working hard to better understand this dynamic, carrying out field studies, seismic measurements, and satellite images, in order to predict more precisely how and when this transformation will intensify. Some argue that, before the great ocean is formed, there will be an extensive phase of lakes and inland seas, contributing to the formation of chains of islands and temporary peninsulas. The history of plate tectonics shows that every continental separation tends to create differentiated ecosystems. Just look at Madagascar, which isolated itself from the rest of Africa millions of years ago and is now home to some of the most unique fauna and flora on the planet. Without a doubt, this rupture that is happening in the Horn of Africa could result in a true natural laboratory, where the evolution of species will occur in a unique and exciting way. And you, what do you think of this fascinating possibility of seeing a new ocean emerging in the middle of the African continent? It's incredible to imagine how the Earth reinvents itself, isn't it? Share your impressions your questions, and what caught your attention most in this great story in the comments. Don't forget to leave your like, as this really helps the channel to grow and bring more and more quality content. And if you haven't subscribed yet, take the opportunity to subscribe now and activate the notification bell, so you don't miss any news about our constantly changing planet. Thank you very much for your company and see you next time.